been to Kathmandu City. Absolutely loved it. And yeah, we're about to board a flight to Lukla. This was crazy. We went like up through the clouds, just white everywhere. There was one part when the Himalayas kind of exploded through the clouds as well. And um, that was a pretty special sight. And then saw Lukla as we came through the clouds. That was super exciting. Tomorrow we're going to feel like we're on top of Everest and you, you think it couldn't get any better, you couldn't get any higher and we're nowhere near where we're going. The suspension bridges will be an interesting sight to see. They're quite huge and they catch some wind. If you're going slow and animals start to cross from the other side, you're fucked. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope there's animals and just going to sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> Just look up and you see some white cap mountains, nice rivers flowing through in exotic parts of the world like we're in, something you don't see every day. And just something challenging that just seems ridiculous for someone who sits behind a desk in Sydney. Just have a go. It's really enjoyable to get out there and just challenge yourself. Yesterday, I struggled with the altitude, felt sick, had headaches. So yeah, I was actually questioning if I would actually continue. Two hours sleep. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little rough. The mind is willing, the body's being a bit of a jerk at this point. Yeah, it's really touching to, to kind of see the tributes to those that have climbed or have attempted to climb. A lot of people live their life to come up to the mountains and uh, end up losing it here. Very emotional place and I'm uh, just very grateful to be able to be here again. Be able to live and see nature. We're really fucking lucky. So everyone's feeling a bit sick now. Sore feet, sore heads, but we're alive. I think everyone's super grateful, so we're probably two days off base camp. Hopefully everyone hangs in there now. There's no other option. You've got to get up the hills, one foot in front of the other. And we're watching the helicopters fly over or flying through the valley really close. And I thought, this is really cool. You don't get a chance to see something like that too often. And then I was in the same kind of thought when Actually, I think I'm going to make it to base camp. Yeah, yeah, and it's great being able to have train with everyone beforehand, and then you know you go as a group and a family. This is a Kumbu glacier. So all these rocks and everything around here is actually just covering moving frozen ice. So we're going to stay on that tonight. It moves, it cracks, it roars. Today was just, it was just amazing, like it was amazing, probably one of the best achievements of my life, it was, it was really cool. It just felt like for the first time in a really long time, I was just doing something just for me, which felt really good. Yeah, I'm really pumped to tell the kids, I think a big metaphor for them that they'll be able to learn from in life. It's been a long walk, it's been really fucking hard. We've had people with 
food poisoning, altitude sickness, foot problems. Everyone's kept pushing on. Race day now, on our way home. Get through this and it's good. 